teammates, united by that G on our helmets, an important lesson about the power of unity. And it's why I'm so opposed to teaching critical race theory in our school systems. Instead of teaching children about what divides us, we should be teaching our children about what unites us. When Lucy McBath's son Jordan was shot and killed, Lucy made a solemn promise. She would spend the rest of her life fighting gun violence and standing up to the NRA. And now with hate and shootings on the rise, Lucy McBath is more determined than ever. A leader in Congress to pass background checks, to get guns out of the hands of domestic abusers and crack down on hate crimes. That's the leadership we need to make us safer. Independence USA PAC is responsible for the content of this ad. A mother, a breast cancer survivor, a Delta flight attendant for 30 years. But then her life changed forever. Lucy McBath's son was shot and killed in the parking lot of a gas station, and she turned her grief into hope and her hope into a seat in the next Congress. Lucy McBath became a voice for us, and she's just getting started. Every Town for Gun Safety Victory Fund is responsible for the content of this ad. Georgia is a battleground. The radical left will do anything to turn our state blue. If you saw the Republican playbook on voter suppression, you would see that there's a plan. I will not concede. But Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger is fighting back. Stacey Abrams is suing us so she can put non-citizens on the voter rolls, and I'm the only one stopping her. In the fight between the left and what's right, a battleground like Georgia needs a warrior like Brad Raffensperger. I'm John Gordon, the only candidate for attorney general endorsed by President Trump. You are going to be some attorney general. We need it so badly. It's never been more important to protect our votes, our Constitution, and our conservative values. This gentleman was the best president of my lifetime. I want to defend his honor. You elect me attorney general, I will open an investigation into the 2020 elections, expose the truth, and hold the people responsible. I'm John Gordon, and I approve this message. In Washington, insider David Perdue voted with liberals for trillions in new debt. His out-of-control federal spending is driving inflation through the roof. In Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp has balanced the state budget every year. He suspended the gas tax to help with prices at the pump and delivered historic income tax cuts. Washington failure David Perdue called these tax cuts disgusting. Governor Brian Kemp gets things done, and he'll be it's Stacey Abrams again. Tonight, we begin with what could be a bad start to the summer as COVID cases and hospitalizations are on the rise in at least 40 states. And the breaking news tonight about COVID boosters for kids. Alarming news tonight about children and the pandemic. Cases skyrocket as CDC advisors are now recommending a third shot. Long lines for formula as families grow desperate. The FDA announces that shuttered Michigan plant at the center of the crisis could reopen next week. Abortion ban. Oklahoma passes the nation's strictest bill in the country, prohibiting nearly all abortions starting at fertilization. The war in Ukraine. New video tonight from inside Mariupol as Congress authorizes billions more in aid and weapons. Plus, President Biden welcomes the leaders of Finland and Sweden supporting their bids to join NATO. Tonight's other top headlines, record-breaking heat in 19 states. Wildfires surge across Texas and New Mexico. Plus, monkeypox found in the U.S., the symptoms of the rare disease. And finally tonight, they're in a class of their own. We'll introduce you to these four extraordinary cadets from West Point who are now Rhodes Scholars. How historic. Think about the four of you together. Pretty special. So special. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday night. Tonight, some news for parents with small children. A top health panel is recommending kids 5 to 11 get a COVID booster. It comes as the pandemic is rearing its ugly head once again. More than two years since it began, infections are on the rise nationwide. Just in the past month alone, COVID cases have soared more than 168%. Some health officials are concerned that this could be the beginning of the fifth wave. About one third 
third of the nation lives in areas where COVID infections are at medium or high risk levels. Public health officials are urging some communities with rising cases return to stricter pandemic measures, including those indoor masks. New cases are nearing 100,000 per day with the Memorial Day weekend just around the corner. We have a lot of news to get to tonight and CBS's Nikki Batiste will start us off tonight from Connecticut. Good evening, Nikki. Nora, good evening. Those Pfizer booster shots for children ages 5 to 11 could be available at this pharmacy and others across the country as soon as tomorrow. There is an urgency for parents here in Connecticut. COVID cases have jumped more than 100% in just a month. COVID concern skyrocketing. Nationwide, hospitalizations are on the rise in 40 states. Cases are up in 41 states. The reality is much worse because we're undercounting COVID cases. Many people are testing at home using at home rapid tests and many people are not testing at all. There's also deepening concern among parents. The American Academy of Pediatrics reports that cases among kids have climbed 76% in the past two weeks. Late today, a CDC scientific panel voted to recommend a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11, even though only 28% in that age group have gotten their first two doses. This current wave of infections among kids could well uh, land a lot of kids in the hospital. In Connecticut, COVID cases are up nearly 118% in the past month. That's where Bridget Tushar is raising two young immunocompromised kids. Both five-year-old Teddy and three-year-old Liza have type 1 diabetes. The vaccine is so important to us because it's basically another tool, another weapon in our arsenal to keep them safe. It's been wildly stressful the way that I think all parents are dealing with the unknown that is doubled or maybe even tripled for us. Her son got his second dose last month just before his fifth birthday. Do you feel like parents are only thinking about their own child? I, I do. The vaccine really does save lives and protect lives. The CDC panel recommended today that kids ages 5 to 11 get their booster at least five months after their second dose. The FDA has said a COVID vaccine for children under five could receive emergency use authorization in June. Nora? Such important information. Nikki Batiste, thank you so much. We turn now to the baby formula crisis. This just in, the federal government says its first flights of formula from Europe to the U.S. are expected within days. And CBS News has learned the first plane will go from Zurich to Indiana. There will be enough for 1.5 million 8-ounce bottles on board. Meanwhile, the head of the FDA faced a bipartisan grilling on the issue from House lawmakers today. We get more from CBS's Meg Oliver. With long lines in Charlotte for formula and empty shelves across the country. That is a dereliction of duty. Angry lawmakers demanded answers from the head of the FDA. How much formula do you expect will be imported and what is the real timeline of seeing those products on our store shelves? We should begin to see improvement within days. It will gradually get better. In 43 states, more than 40% of formula was recently out of stock. Families are struggling, and those with special dietary needs are growing desperate. Eight-year-old Izzy Bradford is a bundle of energy. But the third grader suffers from a rare disorder known as PKU. She relies on special formula for about 70% of her nutrition. Can you shake it? Mm -hmm. What would happen to Izzy's body if she didn't have this metabolic formula? She would start to sort of break down psychologically, emotionally, and physically. It is 70% of her nutrition. Could it damage her brain? It would. In a long term, not having the formula would result in permanent brain damage. About 17,000 Americans suffer from PKU, one of many metabolic disorders requiring specialized formula for life. How many cans arrived in your last order? Uh, we got two cans. And how many were supposed to arrive? 16. Pediatrician Dr. Paul Levy fears if more patients run dry, treatment will be limited. It's going to be a big problem. Even if they get sick and we admit them to the hospital, the tools that we would use are, are based on the formula. So we have a limited repertoire of tools we can use, even if they're in the hospital. Today, Abbott reassured CBS News that when it ramps up production again, it will prioritize special formula. Meantime, at pantries like here at St. Peter's Haven, they're relying on donations. This is all the formula 
they have left to hand out. Nora. So much urgency, Meg Oliver, thank you. We turn now to the investigation into Saturday's mass shooting at a Buffalo supermarket. The suspected gunman made a five minute court appearance and for the first time was in the same room as family members of the 10 people he's accused of killing. He's back in a jail cell with no bail as the community prepares funeral services. We get more from CBS's Jerika Duncan. Shackled and wearing an orange jumpsuit, accused gunman Peyton Gendron was back in a Buffalo courtroom this morning. The 18-year-old showed no emotion and avoided eye contact with anyone but the judge. Hey, you're a coward. He was jeered as he was led away. Rabbi Jonathan Fryerish sat with family members of some of the victims. They were stunned in silence and stillness. I mean, what do you do when the monster who has destroyed your family walks into a courtroom? Today, we learned a grand jury has indicted the suspect on first-degree murder. At this time, all charges remain under seal. The FBI continues to investigate the possibility of hate crime and domestic terrorism charges. Since the shooting, Top Supermarket has been a crime scene. But today, Buffalo's mayor announced the evidence collection phase has concluded. However, there is still no word on when the store will reopen. We will be here. We will be in this store. We want to make sure that it is done right and we open it in a respectful manner for our associates, our employees, and for the community at large. During last Saturday's rampage, a TOPS employee says a 911 operator hung up on her because she was whispering while hiding from the shooter. That operator has been suspended. It is our intention to terminate the individual. However, there is a proper procedure we have to follow. Late this afternoon, family members who lost loved ones gathered at this Buffalo church. I need a village to help me. Raise and be here for my son because he has no father. And she was referring to Hayward Patterson. He was 68 years old and a beloved deacon at his church. Tomorrow is his funeral. Tonight, there's a prayer vigil at this church behind me, and there are many gatherings planned just like this one in the next coming days and even weeks. Nora? Tarika Duncan, thank you so much for all your reporting. Well, today in Texas, a wildfire is burning out of control, consuming 9,000 acres in just the last two days. The Mesquite Heat Fire near Abilene has destroyed at least 50 homes. And in New Mexico, two national parks have been shut down due to what's called extreme fire danger. The largest wildfire in the state's history has now consumed an area roughly the size of Los Angeles. All right, now to the fight over abortion rights ahead of a landmark Supreme Court decision that could overturn Roe versus Wade. Oklahoma legislatures passed an anti-abortion bill outlawing abortion from the moment of fertilization. It would be the most restrictive law in the nation. Here's CBS's Jan Crawford with the details. The legislation would prohibit abortion at any point in pregnancy, except to save a woman's life or in the case of rape or incest. It would take effect immediately after Governor Kevin Stitt signs it, which he has said he will do. Uh, we believe life begins at conception and we're going to protect life in Oklahoma. The law goes further than a similar Texas law, which bans abortion there after six weeks and gives private citizens the right to enforce it by suing abortion providers with $10,000 rewards. It's in effect while being challenged in court, causing some Texas women to seek abortions in Oklahoma. But Oklahoma closed that door last month when it enacted its version of the six-week ban. Today's would ban abortion before six weeks. And with the Supreme Court likely to overturn Roe versus Wade, other conservative states are considering similar laws. More than a dozen already have so-called trigger laws that would immediately ban or greatly restrict abortion if the court overturns Roe. Vice President Kamala Harris met virtually today with abortion providers in some of those states. Just just after Oklahoma passed its near total ban. It's outrageous and it's just the latest in a series of extreme laws around the country. And Jen joins us now. So a lot of anticipation about that Supreme Court ruling. When could that come down? 
Well, I mean, it's been more than two weeks since a draft of that opinion leaked that showed at least at some point a majority of the justices were ready to overturn Roe versus Wade. When a final decision comes, it could be any time. We don't know. We also don't know what the final vote's going to look like or whether one of the justices may have changed their minds. But in the meantime, Nora, there has been a significant increase, according to law enforcement, in the number of abortion-related violent threats, which means that the court and the justices are now under additional security. But a decision could come as soon as Monday? Potentially. Potentially. All right, Jan Crawford, thank you. All right, here in the nation's capital today, President Biden met with the leaders of Sweden and Finland to discuss their bids to join NATO. The unanimous approval of member nations is required to join the alliance. And while the president offered his strong support for the proposal, NATO member Turkey remains adamantly opposed. Meanwhile, the Senate overwhelmingly passed a $40 billion aid package for Ukraine today, along with an additional $100 million for weapons, including 18 howitzers. The money and munitions are crucial as Russian forces Forces continue their assault on areas in the east and south of Ukraine, where we warn you, some of the images you're going to see are disturbing. CBS's MTS Tayeb reports from Odessa. Ukrainian fighters, around 1,700 now, have surrendered to Russia. For them, it's an agonizing end to one of the longest and most dramatic battles since the war in Ukraine began 85 days ago. They now face an unknown fate. <laughs> the horrors of Russia's ruthless assault on Mariupol were captured in vivid detail on a body camera worn by Yulia Payevska, a Ukrainian medic known as Tyra. She recorded her team's heroic efforts to save lives in the early weeks of the war, including this brother and sister whose parents were killed by Russian shelling. The little girl lived, but the boy's body couldn't survive the trauma. Tyra had the footage smuggled out of Mediupol on a tiny memory card and into the hands of the Associated Press. The next day, she was captured by Russian forces and hasn't been heard from since appearing in this video on Russian TV shortly after. As Vladimir Putin's war on Ukraine grinds on, near Odessa, the tiny yet strategic Snake Island remains a front line. It was here a Ukrainian soldier stared down a Russian bombing threat with this now iconic phrase. In the same waters, Ukrainians have successfully taken out patrol boats, a warship, and fresh video shows a Ukrainian drone striking a Russian helicopter, dropping paratroopers on the island. Natalia Humanuk is with Odessa's military. These waters became a symbol of uh, Ukrainian resistance. Do you still feel the same way? Yes, we gave them a warm welcome, she says dryly, but the Russians are persistent and keep trying to take our land. Today, in a dramatic moment during Ukraine's first war crimes trial, a captured Russian soldier testified he was following orders when he shot an unarmed civilian in the head. He later asked the victim's widow to forgive him. Nora. MTS Tayab, thank you. Well, record heat is on the way for much of the nation. By the weekend, 19 states and Washington, D.C. will see record high temperatures from triple digits in McAllen, Texas, to a steamy 98 degrees in Hartford, Connecticut. More than 100 cities are expected to face dangerous heat. There is still much more news ahead on tonight's CBS Evening News. The mysterious new illness popping up in the U.S. How contagious is monkeypox? I'm Mark, and I live in Vero Beach, Florida. My wife and I have three children. With Ann and I like to hike. We eat healthy, we exercise. I noticed I, I wasn't as sharp as I used to be. My wife introduced me to Prevagen, so I said, yeah, I'll, I'll try it out. I noticed that uh, I felt sharper. I felt like I was able to uh, respond to things quicker. And uh, I thought, yeah, it works for me. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. For COPD, ask your doctor about Breastree. Breastree gives you better breathing, symptom improvement, and helps prevent flare-ups. Breastree won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breastree more than prescribed. Breastree may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about Breastree. I'm here at home with officers Martinez and Endicott. They're here because my Simply Safe security camera captured an uninvited guest. 
Simply Safe monitoring pros use the video to have a little chat with police, telling them what was going down. The officers tell me that video verification helps them get there lightning fast. It's all part of Simply Safe's comprehensive 24/7 whole home security. And for unsurpassed protection, get advanced pro monitoring for less than a dollar a day, only from Simply Safe. One Prilosec OTC in the morning blocks heartburn all day and all night. Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid production that can cause heartburn. So don't fight heartburn. Block it with Prilosec OTC. Miss Allen over there isn't checking lesson plans. She's getting graded on her green investments with Merrill. A plus. Still got it. Your money never stops working for you with Merrill, a Bank of America company. Oh, allergy sufferers. Bedtime means it's time to take Zizol. Zizol relieves allergies while you sleep, so you wake refreshed. Plus, it works faster than Claritin, and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec in a pill nearly half the size. Be wise all. Take Zizol at night. Ooh. It's bacon! Smoky bacon. Meaty bacon. Tasty bacon. Bacon! Oh, I love it. Dogs go bonkers for bacon. And try new bacon pizza flavor. Pizza! Tonight, New York health officials say they are investigating a possible case of monkeypox in New York City. And in Massachusetts, a man is in isolation after being diagnosed with the rare disease. Symptoms include unusual lesions on the face and body, along with flu-like illness and swollen lymph nodes. Most cases are confined to Central and West Africa, but has also been turning up in Europe in recent weeks. The U.S. government has ordered approximately 13 million doses of a vaccine that protects against monkeypox, considered difficult to trans between humans. All right, coming up next, this incredible story. Meet the young women making history at America's oldest military academy. If you can't watch the CBS Evening News, you can listen. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Ancestry. The census tells you a lot about people. You could tell on the census records that at very, very young ages, they were cooks, they were farmhands, they were servants. There's Aurelia, four years old. I have learned a lot about the rest of the family. It was really finding gold. One of my grandfathers didn't even know his birthday. I figured out the exact year he was born. The census records fill in gaps. It helped me push the door open. I'm on a mission to talk to people about getting screened for colon cancer and hear their reasons why. I screened for my son. I'm his biggest fan. If you're 45 or older at average risk, you have screening options like Cologuard. Cologuard is non-invasive and finds 92% of colon cancers. It's not for those at high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider if Cologuard is right for you. Everyone has a reason to screen for colon cancer. If you're 45 or older, get started at missiontoscreen.com. When traders tell us how to make Thinkorswim even better, we listen. Like Jack. He wanted a streamlined version he could access anywhere. No download necessary. And Kim, she wanted to execute a preset trade strategy in seconds. So we gave them Thinkorswim Web. Because platforms this innovative aren't just made for traders, they're made by them. Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. What are you recommending for muscle pain? Based on clinical data, I recommend Salon Pos. Agreed. My patients like these patches because they work up to 12 hours, even on moderate pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. Send me to Better skin from your body wash? Try Olay Body Wash with skincare super ingredient collagen. Olay Body Wash hydrates for healthier looking skin in just 14 days. From dry and dull to firm and radiant. With Olay Body, I feel fearless in my skin. Sometimes you might not feel ready for the moment. With Roman at your side. We got this. You can take care of erectile dysfunction discreetly. So that you're ready. Roman ready. Wonderful pistachios are available without any shells. That's all we're saying. Oh, really? Hmm. Let me try. I speak turtle. What? We're so, oh, don't. so... That's it! Ah! Ah! The Late 
Show with Stephen Colbert. <laughs> it gets very hot very fast. New tonight on CBS. Now to my favorite story. It's a story that's as inspirational as it is impressive. Every year, 32 of America's best and brightest are selected to become Rhodes Scholars. And this year, a record number of women were selected for the prestigious scholarship to study at Oxford. And for the first time, West Point's class of scholars is entirely made up of women. And in our series, Profiles in Service, we introduce you to these remarkable cadets. When I heard that there were four cadets at West Point who were Rhodes Scholars, and that all four of them were women. I said, I want to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> Holland Pratt, Hannah Blakey, Krista Flingstrom, and Veronica Lucian are a sisterhood in scholarship and service, and they are the future of the U.S. Army. How do you think the military has changed for women? Women today feel more empowered in the military than they ever have. And that's the hard work of the legacy of women who have come before us. Hannah, how important is it for younger cadets to see four women seniors win the Rhodes Scholarship? It's incredibly important, but I really saw it this summer. One of the new cadets came to me on the last day and she said, you know, I come from a place where nobody thought that I could do it. And she had a teacher in high school tell her, you know, girls like you don't go to places like that. And she looked at me and she said, but ma'am, seeing you in this position, seeing you doing a good job, makes me believe that I belong here. How historic. Think about the four of you together making history. Pretty special. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <Just a little bit. laughs> As the cadets graduate this weekend, it's a time for reflection. What have you learned at West Point about service? I've learned that it doesn't start with you. It starts with those that you're encountering and that those personal connections mean more than anything. How would you define selfless service? Selfless service to me, ma'am, is a mindset, eager to serve, willing to lead. I'd say service is others oriented. Krista, you're from a military family. What did you learn about service growing up? We focused a lot on grit and service together. So we would do a lot of things that were pushing you in a mental toughness way. So like whenever we would do a run together, it would never finish at the, the end. It would always be longer. What's the lesson do you think you learned from that? Service and grit don't stop at the finish line. There's always gonna be something more asked of you. You don't get to be off duty when you're serving. You're always gonna be on. Wow. Well, their studies range from economics of developing nations to refugee studies to medicine. All expertise they will bring back to the Army. So impressive, right? We'll be right back. Every search you make, every click you take, every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. The internet doesn't have to be so creepy. DuckDuckGo is a free all-in-one privacy app with a built-in search engine, web browser, one-click data clearing, and more. Stop companies like Google from watching you by downloading the app today. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. What could one strand of mRNA do? It could change the future of medicine. It could change the lives of millions. See what mRNA could do. Moderna. This changes everything. I brought in Ensure Max Protein with 30 grams of protein. Those who tried me felt more energy in just two weeks. Uh, Here, I'll take that. Ensure Max Protein with 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and nutrients to support immune health. It's the most Claritin provides non-drowsy symptom relief from over 200 indoor and outdoor allergens day after day. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year with Claritin Clear. At Fidelity, your dedicated advisor will help you create a comprehensive wealth plan for your full financial picture with the right balance of risk and reward. So you can enjoy more of this. This is the planning effect. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one selling nerve care company. Nervive contains alpha lipoic acid to relieve occasional nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Try Nervive Nerve Relief.
Success looks different for everyone. Succeed on your terms at University of Maryland Global Campus, an accredited university with no-cost digital resources and lifetime career services. You're not waiting to win. You're ready to succeed again. Learn more at umgc.edu. The Chewy Box is coming today. Calm down, Lenny. We just ordered it yesterday. Nah, I'm totally chill. I just, wait, is it here? Relax. Our treats from Chewy always arrive super fast. I feel so much energy surging through me. I don't know what to do with my feet. I'm so excited. <gasps> Oven baked apple biscuits. Remember our training? Control yourself. I can smell them. Hold me, Leroy. Biscuits! Get fast, free, one to three day shipping when they just can't wait. Chewy. Every once in a while, my heart can feel a little off. And even when it doesn't, I like to feel good about my heart health. That's why I have Cardio Mobile. Cardio Mobile is the only smart device in the world that is FDA cleared to detect the three most common heart conditions in just 30 seconds. And having one in your pocket not only gives you peace of mind, the doctor will thank you now. Cardio Mobile is proven to detect atrial fibrillation, one of the leading causes of stroke. It also detects bradycardia, tachycardia, and tells you when your heart rhythm is normal. And it's available now for only $79. You can use Cardio Mobile anywhere. It lets you put your health in your own hands. I didn't think anyone could be happier about that kind of independence than me, but my doctor is over the moon. Thank you. Feel good about your heart health with Cardio Mobile. Order yours today for just $79 at CardioMobile.com or Amazon. That's just $79 for a limited time. On tomorrow's CBS Evening News, CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road in search of a family's long-lost cat and the surprise ending you have to see to believe. Well, that is tonight's CBS Evening News. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. Good night. Every genius has a secret weapon, like vision enhancers. My glasses. I'm blind here, guys. Can you help me find them? Found them? The Big Bang Theory. Weeknights at 7.30 on CBS 46. Keeping you ahead of Georgia's weather. This is why we first alert. This is CBS 46 News at 7. We're getting you caught up on the day's top stories and everything happening across the metro. I'm Tracy Hutchins. What everyone is feeling tonight, the heat. The hottest part of the day is behind us, but the temperature heads back up tomorrow. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez has what you need to know to plan for your Friday and the weekend. Jennifer? Oh, yeah, and still incredibly hot outside. We officially got up to 90 degrees at Hartsville Jackson International, and now 7 o'clock at night, and we're still in the upper 80s, 87 in Atlanta, 89 in Athens, 88 in Gainesville, in Cartersville, 89 in Rome. For tonight, those temperatures will stay incredibly warm. In fact, we'll be in the 80s through 10 o'clock at night, and then those temperatures are really going to struggle to cool down. Low temperatures only dropping to about 70, which means it will be a mild start to the morning tomorrow, and then temperatures will skyrocket from there on out. We'll already be in the low 80s by lunchtime, and then temperatures again for a second straight day climbing to the 90s tomorrow afternoon. So a very hot Friday ahead. We do have changes this weekend, but they do involve rain and storms. Those storms will bring cooler temperatures. We'll talk much more about the temperatures, how much cooler it will get and how much rain we're expecting coming up. We'll see you then. Now it's time for tonight's top seven at seven. A mother's desperate call for help. I need the EMS to come and get him. Do not, I don't need police. Hours later, her son was dead at the hands of Atlanta police, shot and killed inside a busy Buckhead restaurant. A student uncovers a data leak in DeKalb County schools. Private information possibly exposed. No extra driving, no going, pick up no bike, let's got gas money. Drivers wonder just how high prices will soar. The average in Metro Atlanta tonight, $4.15. Growing concern about dozens of new mysterious hepatitis cases confirmed in Georgia kids. The baby formula shortage so bad, children are now hospitalized here in Atlanta. But the FDA says there's encouraging news. Within days, it will get better but it will be a few weeks before we're back to normal. 
Victims' loved ones come to court with a message for the Buffalo supermarket shooting suspect. You're a coward. A man police call armed and dangerous still on the run after a 22-year-old is shot and killed outside of a Smyrna shopping center. Our cover story tonight, a family pledging to fight for change. Their loved one, 22-year-old Nigel Cullens, is the man that Atlanta police shot and killed inside a busy Buckhead restaurant last night. We're going to fight so that other families and other, other, other mothers, other uncles, Fathers. sisters.